Right, there's a number of ways that you can insert images into your notebook files. Um, your notebook comes with this gallery. And so the gallery is pretty full of a lot of different things that might be useful um, to notebook files that you're creating. You can do a search by just typing in a word up here. So if, for example, I want to see if I can put a picture of, we'll just use cat as my example, and it will show me anything in the gallery that's related to cats. So here are some pictures of cats, and if I want to put this into my notebook file, I just essentially grab it and drag it over. Um, it also looks like there's some interactive and multimedia things that we'll look at um, a little bit later related to cats and some notebook files and pages. But just looking at images right now, so I typed in cat and down here I found all these 50 pictures related to cats that were already in my gallery. So that's maybe your first stop when you're looking for something to put in a file. Start always with your gallery so you don't have to go and search someone else for, somewhere else for pictures. One thing to note, they are mostly sort of um, cartoony drawing, so if you're looking for sort of a more exact picture, we'll talk about how we can get there as well. So that's a picture from the gallery. If you want to insert a picture um, that you already have on your computer, you can do that as well. And by clicking on insert, and there's a number of files you can put it into, but if we put in a picture file, we can go somewhere on our computer. So I've got some pictures on my desktop that my class has been working on. And so if I grab one of these pictures, I can just press open and it will put it right into my notebook file. So that's another version or another option rather for how to put a picture in here. You can also get pictures from your iPhoto or your photo booth doing the same way. So insert picture file and if I scroll down here, I think, do I get it in photos? And is photo booth back? Yes. Photo booth is here. And so we can find a picture of Mr. Perot and put it right into our file that way. Uh, a final option for how you might want to get a picture um, is if you want to go and get one from the internet. So maybe through Google Images or something. You can go into your favorite browser. So if I want to grab an image off the internet, so this will give you probably access to more accurate photographs or more actual photographs instead of drawings, I'm just going to find a picture that I want. I'm going to right mouse click click on the picture, I can copy the image, and then I can go back into my notebook. So I'm just going to go in by clicking back in here, and I can go to edit and paste, and my picture should come on right there. I can make this picture larger, again, by just pulling on this gray thing. Depending on the picture, the quality, um, it when you enlarge it too big, it may get a little bit uh, pixely like that. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind.